reported today in The Verge. New trailers, Black Widow, Morbius, TNT Snowpiercer, and more. With all the noise around how there'll probably never be a second season of Watchmen this week, I figured I should finally get around to writing about Watchmen since it's been weeks since it wrapped up. There was a ton I liked about the series, the show within a show, the oddball, barely explained side characters, the way it reframes some of the graphic novel's biggest ideas. The Hooded Justice episode, in particular, was worth watching the entire season for. That hour is perhaps a better encapsulation of the show than the entirety of the show, and it feels so true to the book that it hardly seems like it wasn't in there in the first place. I did find the series structure a little frustrating, though. Very little actually happens during the timeline of the show, there's a murder, some flashbacks, and then the ending arrives. Nearly everything important occurred before the show started, and we just have to wait for characters to reveal to us what they've already done. Those twists and turns add up to something interesting, I just wish it had felt a little more like that scheming was happening in the present, rather than like we were waiting for a Republic serial villain to lay things out for us when the time is right. Check out seven trailers from this week below. Marvel put out a short new teaser for Black Widow this week. It includes a lot of the same footage as the first trailer, so there's not too much to see here. But for those eager for spoilers, it also includes a first glimpse at the film's villain, Taskmaster. The movie comes out May 1st. The first second of this trailer features a ripped, shirtless vampire, just in case you were wondering what kind of movie this is going to be. Morbius is Sony's latest attempt to expand its universe of Spider-Man films. While I'm utterly unmoved by everything I'm seeing here, there is one fun little twist, Michael Keaton. He appears for a split second at the end of the trailer, suggesting he's reprising his role from Spider-Man, Homecoming. Morbius comes out July 31st. After the success of Bong Joon-ho's film adaptation in 2013, Snowpiercer is being turned into a series for TNT. It's a strange world that leaves a lot of room for exploration, so I'm curious to see where this goes. For now, though, the imagery all looks really similar to what appeared in the film. The show debuts May 31st. Daniel Radcliffe plays an internet troll who gets guns bolted onto his hands and is forced to participate in an online reality show deathmatch. I really cannot offer a comment beyond that. It comes out March 5th. Netflix keeps adding more and more reality shows, and Next in Fashion looks like an easy winner. The Project Runway-esque series gives Queer Eye fans another place to watch Tan France, who co-hosts with Alexa Chung. For more on this story, visit the news article link.